I think what's interesting about 3D printing and 3D design specifically for Lana Betty is that I try to make designs that couldn't be made any other way except by 3D printing. Negative internal space, holes or shapes or designs that couldn't be carved or cast with ease, and just generally shapes that really challenge people's perception on what what actually went into how their piece was made. The technology has been around since the 80s, but finally technology has advanced enough to make it uh, affordable. I make 3D printed prototypes in my home studio out of plastic. It's called extrusion printing. And when I'm happy with a 3D printed prototype, I will go and work with um, high resolution 3D printers and they'll print my designs using a method called selective laser sintering out of a powder and that's the way that they can print my pieces in steel or brass or even sterling silver. Craft markets for me are the most important because I can connect one-on-one -on -one with my customers. I get to trial my prototypes and see if they love it or hate it. I can get instant feedback and it's really nice to connect one-on-one -on -one with people and to see that joy on their face when they buy something that they love and they know has been made locally. The Vancouver craft scene is pretty rich and vibrant and pretty full. We're all creative in some way and we need more in our lives than just um, things we bought at stores. So it's been really fun to meet and connect with people at, at local markets like Gut Craft to make and share my craft with people.